Hello my soccer universe. I have decided this is not the last video for the 2021 season with a club jersey background. I'm gonna switch tomorrow to um, national teams, the Euros, and I think I'm all for it. I decided therefore not to do the uh, coaching changes video. This will be at the beginning of the new season. I think this makes more sense anyway. But I thought, I, since I'm gonna now start with all the Euro jersey reviews and maybe uh, prediction uh, videos and so on, I decided to um, make my jersey talk video. Um, give it to you on Thursday. It's actually a day off here in Austria, so um, that makes to me at least some sense. And as a topic, I thought, well, I have shown you my new Inter third jersey, um, and it might be not a bad idea to. This was on one of my two top 10 lists that I use as a shopping list. This is kind of the top 10 teams that I wanted to add. There's one video on that, and then the other one, the top 10 jerseys of 2020, which is always, you know, all these top 10 jerseys is always a good list, and usually the more recent ones, because now it's kind of the sales uh, time. And I thought, A, let's look at how am I doing with my list. B, uh, what would, what else did I get that maybe was not exactly on the list and was it justified? And see uh, what are now for the rest of the year kind of some jerseys uh, to look forward to. Uh, that, you know, I have on the radar, but I'm not necessarily must buy. It's the top 10 list that I made at the beginning of the year. This was for me. I really wanted to have these teams at this time. And I will also give you reasons uh, why some of those teams I didn't get. And, you know, we'll move on from uh, there. But before that, I think it is very important for me to actually verbally define what is my collection about. And this should be a separate video, but I, I we can say it uh, right off the bat. I mean, for most of the time, I was only collecting jerseys that I liked or of teams that I really liked. So there was no rhyme or reason, but you can definitely tell teams that I like, I have a lot of jerseys from. And if there's a jersey of these that I like, of course, I was about to get this as well. But I usually avoided getting certain teams uh, that I didn't like. Well, I have got over that hump in many, many cases. So uh, just off the bat. So currently, I still keep these uh, jerseys of teams that, uh, that I like, but I think I can define it at least on the club side a whole lot better. I'm covering eight leagues in my videos. And for seven of these, and we'll get to the exception, I want to have at least the top teams and for the top five leagues, which is England, Spain, Italy, Germany and France, I actually would have a really good range. Uh, so any team that uh, would play at least in the top half in these leagues. And I think for Italy and England, uh, especially and probably Germany, I want to go down even a little bit more so that we, I, I can say, you know, I have uh, 14 slots here behind me, actually 13 because the 14th would then go over. So let's have 13 slots behind me. I want to be able to fill these 13 slots with 13 different teams. So it has to be teams in the top uh, level. It doesn't need to be the top 13 or 14 teams, but at least 13 teams, ideally maybe a bunch more uh, to be ready for all eventualities. So uh, this is kind of what I want to go for these leagues. So uh, I told you for the top five, then I have um, two more, which is Portugal and the Netherlands, where at least I want to have the top teams which in Portugal I think I achieved, I have the top three. It would be nice to add a few more, but in Portugal I have achieved it. In the Netherlands I only have the top two so far, so um, there is definitely some work to be done. Um, and then it remains Austria, and I still have trouble getting other Austrian teams. So Austria for now remains Lusk, and let's see if I will add any Austrian teams. If you would encourage me to get Austrian teams and so on, I think my wife 
is trying to say, you know, get over it, over yourself there. I still, these are the two barriers I have not broken are other Austrian teams and Red Bull teams. Those are the two barriers. I have still a hard time going over and they are slightly related. So this is my collection. I also have now the national team side. I want to be able to have for every Euros. I want to collect uh, from every European or UEFA nation at least one jersey, but that's kind of a long-term goal. And then, you know, maybe having every South American team and then a few that pop up at the World Cup. I know I need to stock up on Asia and so on. Uh, African teams are always fun. So, you know, but a uh, nas na national team is more I want to get ready for for bigger tournaments to have uh, sufficient jerseys to also display there and then get some nice ones that I like. And I want to put an emphasis on UEFA nations and a little bit on uh, really cool African national teams. Okay, a lot of talking. Let's look at my top 10 shopping list and at the top 10 jerseys. I, as I said, there are two videos for these and they were as follows. We had a top 10 shop, shop, shop shopping list for uh, this year. North Macedonia, Wales, Hungary, Real Sociedad, Villarreal, Eintracht Frankfurt, Bayer, Leverkusen, Lille, Porto and Everton. And the top 10 jerseys, and you know, we don't need to discuss now, uh, uh, the 2020, the France home jersey, the current carnival jersey, Marseille away, and so on. You have the list here. Let's see, what did I get? How, how am I doing? Actually, I have to say, I'm doing quite well, especially with the top 10 sh 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 shopping list. I completed eight out of 10 already, and I are good reasons why the two of them that are missing, I have not completed yet. Um, by Leverkusen, I thought them, if they would have made a deeper run in the Europa League, I probably would have already bought a Bayer Leverkusen jersey. But uh, the other reason is I never, find one for a good price, one that I like, um, which should be a red one with a little bit of black, ideally the 98 uh, home jersey, 98-99, but you know, that is one thing and you know, Le Leverkusen is also one of the teams that I really don't like. For Real Sociedad, almost similarly, they did not play mu much of a role in the Europa League and uh, so the Villarreal uh, was definitely a higher priority there. They ended up winning it, the whole thing. Um, but also Real Sociedad then, uh, yes, they finished uh, very well, fifth in La Liga. However, they were more or less a non-factor. So I never, I had a nice Real Sociedad jersey two or three times. I was ready, re ready to buy it. And then uh, there were either some obstacles or I was not just quite sure or I didn't have it in my size and so on. So in the end, I have no Real Sociedad, but um, for the fall, I know that I want to make Real Sociedad uh, one of my priorities, especially considering that they will be playing in the Europa League as well. As for the top 10 jerseys, um, the reasons there are simple. I mean, especially the Marseille and the Bayern jer uh, jersey, I could have gotten a few times, but I never liked the price. I never saw them, including shipping below 60. I usually tend to buy jerseys for around 40 maximum if they're new and on sale. I can maybe jump over the line for 50, but it needs to be just something re really special and then shipping needs to come cheap. So um, that's why I have not gotten there. I actually, the Marseille jersey, I have jumped over uh, in favor of another jersey because I already have a Marseille jersey. So um, yeah. The Bayern jersey, the third kit, uh, I'm also putting a little bit on the back burner because I'm not sure, do I like this one better? Do I like the current away jersey? This which is also, also black better, so we'll talk about that. But everything else I got, and I'm a little bit surprised how well I have done. I have to say that at the moment that I made this list, I, I had already one jersey, number two. I knew that number seven, the Maradona jersey, is about to come and very soon after the Ajax jersey was more or less on its way. Yes, it was a Valentine's present, but uh, there was definitely something happening. I never thought that I would get the Venezia jersey when I made this list uh, until I saw that they had it on sale and, you know, number 200 turned out to be Venezia. So, yeah. That's where it goes. So the, I think I'm doing rather well with these. Let's look at other ac uh, acquisitions. And as I said, I wanna have channel jerseys were one big target. And here it is, 
new teams that I've added this year in the left column. Denmark, Turkey, Iceland was technically a replacement jersey for a fake, uh, but still it counts as a new jersey. So this was all for the Euros and I wanted to have that Iceland jersey. jersey. Not on the list. I managed to add Udine and all these are now in chronological order. Udine, Monaco, Hellas, Bologna, Granada with a weird prototype jersey, Freiburg, which I'm wearing here, and Stadren. This jersey I actually chose over the Marseille away jersey. Um, so I am quite happy with that. With the doubling up, I think I'm a little bit guilty there. Uh, I know I want to have, of the really big teams, I want to have double. I knew I needed to get a CD uh, light blue jersey, especially as a fake replacement. So I got that one. Um, the United and Ars Arsenal came in handy a few times. Valencia was on that as a plant and that uh, Hellas. Yeah, I needed to get the second one too. I mean, I got the home. I needed to get the third because I liked I liked it actually better. The PSG one was a jersey uh, that I found in a local store for a really good price. Um, and was one that I wanted to have for a long time. And yeah, I jumped over it. So I think all of these I can somewhat defend. Um, and then especially, I mean, the Netherlands jersey is where I had the nice unpacking video with my wife where, you know, where we, I have it now in the box, I have it like that. And for the Euros, I wanted to have for each big team two, Germany and Belgium. And then there remains the number two, the Spain jersey, which was a fake replacement. So also I think I can defend all these. And I'm actually quite happy that I don't have too many doubling ups. There is an 11th one, but it's a fake, which was the Columbia home jersey that I wanted to have for stupid reasons. So yeah, I think I am not too unhappy. Yes, I got a lot of jerseys again this year, but I really wanted to boost uh, my channel jerseys. And so I'm actually quite content. I can defend the doubling ups uh, because most of these I got for a really good price, especially the United and the Arsenal one. I think the United cost me all of five euros plus shipping and the Arsenal I got for 12 euros plus shipping. And Valencia was also rather cheap and yeah, Verona. Too. So the other ones were a little bit more. The Netherla uh, Netherlands were 15, Germany 10, Belgium 20. So you know, it did not cost much. The Spain one was also 12. So did not cost me much. Uh, only the PSG one is a little bit, uh, the PSG and the Man City season was uh, the uh, other ones a little bit out of it. But they, uh, especially the Man City one, paid huge dividends there. And now having said all that, um, I want to complete at least a list with the top 10 jerseys, so Leverkusen and Real Sociedad, I think, will need to be bought. <laughs> uh, but what are other teams that I'm really looking forward to that, as I, as I said, I am really happy with, let's go through through leagues. I mean, national team collection, I'm very happy. I have, of, of every team at Euro 2020, I have a jersey. Very happy with that one. Um, with, except... Asian teams, I think I should have a little bit more, but you know, a World Cup is coming. This is something I want to have for next year. So I'm um, holding off on that so far. Let's go through leagues. Uh, with Serie A, I'm, I would give it a, a, a very happy. Not extremely, but very happy. There are only a couple of teams that I think would make it, uh, pull it over the top. Similar with the, Prem, with, with the Premier League collection, I'm actually quite happy with that one. I have quite a few teams. Um, yes, it would be nice to have a few more talk about this. Uh, Germany, overall happy if I can get Leverkusen and maybe add uh, one or two and maybe double up here and there. Uh, Germany, you know, Italy and uh, if, 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 if you can take, take it on the, on the latter grade, I think with Serie A and pre, at Premier League, I'm at A, it's not A+. Plus. Um, with the Bundesliga, I am personally feeling at the moment B, to be honest. Um, with La Liga, my feeling there is C ish. Have all the top teams, especially Real Madrid and Barcelona. But there are a few that I really would like to. Uh, I would like to have a lot more teams there, and especially doubling up. I think with Spain, I can do better. Uh, if we go for us, I think I would some a C plus B minus B 
B, B minus some 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 of there. I think I'm doing quite quite well. There are a few teams that I would like to add, for sure. Um, then Netherlands. This is where I actually don't feel very comfortable. Uh, I don't need many Dutch jer uh, jerseys, but uh, my Netherlands feeling is D. Portugal, I'm happy B. I have to say Austria, I don't want to grade. So this is where I stand there. So let's look at jerseys that I have uh, on the radar. And there are two targets. Uh, there are two target lists. The one is teams that are new that I really want to have. And then teams that where I would like to have a uh, second or uh, at, at least a second jersey and sometimes I specify what I have. At this moment, especially for to make the Dutch collection going from D to B, I think I need a Feyenoord jersey. Feyenoord is uh, one of the big three, so uh, definitely that one. Um, La Liga, Celta is one of my favorite, favorite teams and I even forgot about Espanyol now, which is a team that I definitely want to have, but Betis and Athletic Club. Bet that plus uh, Espanyol would be great. Another Dutch team at Z has been really doing well, should be in there. Uh, in League A, uh, I decided now on Nantes because this is probably of the big name teams. Uh, of, I have sympathies for Nantes. Let's put it that way. So uh, they have not played a great season, but I really would like to have a non jersey uh, to go with the scarf up there. Ideally, uh, there are other teams in there. I mean, there are towns that I've visited uh, that don't have that uh, not even league uh, status now. Uh, I mean, I've been in Britannia, I've been in Normandy and so on, uh, Strasbourg and, 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 and so But those teams are maybe not that big of a factor. Uh, but I'm thinking of your Montpellier and so, what you know, Saint Etienne. Teams that are regu regularly in, 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 in there, but uh, not is the one that I definitely have. Premier League, the two teams that I really think I would add very nicely to my collection are Leeds and Wolves. Those are two teams that I definitely would like to have in there. Any other that will play next season in the Premier League, of course, yes. Any time, uh, Fulham would be a uh, second pick kind of because I've been in the stadium. I didn't get a, jer a jersey of there, so uh, that should be one. And in Italy, I'm thinking Torino and Genoa, though two very traditional teams that I really would like to have. Those are target new teams. So I think this list gives you a good idea. Now for doubling up. The top team that I really want to double up, I want to have a second jer jersey of because my Juve jersey is a really, really, really nice one. But it's a very old one. I would like to have half a newer one and I don't even care if it's home or away. I really would love to have a Leicester home jersey. I really would love to have an Atalanta home jersey. For Lazio, I would like to have a dark blue away jersey. Uh, Bayern is already on the other list up there, but I definitely feel I need a second Bayern jersey and a second Dortmund jersey. Uh, going back to Italy, it would be really nice to have a different Fiorentina jersey. I really like the red one with the cross. Uh, you know, something different, not just a purple one. Fiorentina is one team that I like as well. For Monaco, I have an away jersey. I would like to have a home jersey. It's such a traditional design. PSV, to kind of, you know, Dutch collection. Add an away jersey. And for Spurs, I like the yellow away jersey from last season. But I also have to say uh, a dark blue one would also be really, really nice. So those are teams that I come up with off the bat. Um, let's see where it goes. So... Again, and this is where I want to uh, collect towards, too, especially for, for the channel. I want to have from the eight leagues, I want to have the top teams. For the top five, I want to have 12 to 13 uh, teams with the top teams that are usually playing for Champions League doubled up, ideally. Uh, for the Netherlands, I would like uh, Netherlands and Port Port Portugal. I wanna have ideally five to six teams, and especially I mean in Port Portugal, Braga, Boa Vista, uh, those are teams. Tom Della for some reason I like uh, as of late. Guimarães, I can't think of a few. And for the Netherlands, I think they have some really nice jersey with Willem Dwe, um, uh, Heron Veen. Just coming to, to to mind now as a collector's item, I saw a, a, a Nijmegen a jersey, who just got promoted, which would be really interesting. There's some really, really nice stuff there in the Netherlands as well. Uh, that might be well worth collecting too. So, But you know, 
first let's get Feyenoord and Alzettin. And then we can talk about some more obscure teams. So yeah. I'm thinking currently about my acquisitions. I think I'm happy. I am still within budget, although my monthly budget due to now some uh, sales acquisitions has been reduced. I think I'm about 75 per month for the rest of the year, which I think is still very generous and will get it done now that the sales are abating. I think I will uh, go on with, again more on secondhand jerseys and so that could help a lot. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.